welcome to my youtube channel so in this particular video we will talk about a very interesting interview question which i have asked you while explaining the concept of standard deviation and variance right and i told you that at least give a try that what do you think what's the reason behind having a sample variance denominator as n minus 1 whereas in population if you will see we are dividing the value by capital n let me try to recall you the formula of how we can calculate the sample variance and the population variance so when i'm talking about a population variance the notation to represent that was i hope everyone remembers that so population variance is represented by sigma square which is something which is equals to i would say summation of i equals to 1 to n where n indicates how many number of observations that you have xi minus the value of mu right so with respect to mean you are subtracting it and then doing a square of that divided by capital n where this capital n indicates again the number of observations that you have so this is the simple formula that we have tried when we are trying to calculate the value of i would say uh, population variance right summation of xi minus mu whole square divided by capital n okay so when i talked about the sample variance corresponding to that we came across a formula which is something equals to sample variance which is equals to i would say s capital s square where it is equals to summation of i equals to 1 to n now here small n is indicating the number of data points or the number of observations which is highly lesser as comparable to the value of capital n xi minus the value of x bar whole square divided by in that case i am writing it as n minus 1 so here if you will observe very much carefully this mu indicates something which i will say as a population mean this mu indicates something which we called as a population mean whereas when i am calling x bar it indicates something we called as a sample mean the formula the way to uh, calculate the mean part is actually same but here if you will observe try to understand here when i am dividing the term by n minus 1 i will get a sample variance value higher as comparable to when i will be having a denominator as n it's quite simple right if you will observe this sample variance formula which we are calculating you can see this n minus 1 is somehow indirectly proportional to each other can i say these are indirectly proportional to each other so here if you will observe when i will be having a lesser number n minus 1 is a lower number as comparable to n right in that case i will be having a higher value of sample variance which gives me a quite i would say approximate value with the with respect to the population variance so this is something which we called in mathematical term as a unbiased estimator so when i divide the value by n minus 1 i will be able to get a value which is approximately equal to population variance see why the concept of the sample is coming into picture we are taking a sample we are observing few parameters on that sample and we are believing that whatsoever conclusions we are getting with respect to sample is equally valuable to the population so we always want the values the estimators in such a way that the final values that we are getting will be approximately equal to the population variance right so in this case we can say that they are the unbiased that is the important thing to understand so the reason here is that when i am dividing the value by n minus 1 it is giving me a unbiased estimator with respect to the population variance but when you are dividing it by n which is summation of i equals to 1 to n xi minus x bar whole square divided by small n in this particular case when you will be having this kind of a sample variance what is happening actually here you will observe that you are getting a value which is somehow biased 
and is not approximately equal to the population variance. So this is something which we called as a biased estimator. And here our value of sample variance is quite low, which is not matching towards the population variance value. And in our experiment, in our uh, uh, whatsoever research we are doing, what we want as a sample, we want something which is unbiased estimator, not the biased one. That's why this is highly not recommended formula and this is the standard formula to calculate something which we call as a sample variance. So that's why there is a division by n minus 1 because that follows the unbiased estimator, not the below one. So I hope that this video will give you a clear cut picture of why a sample variance denominator is n minus 1 and not n. And I hope that in future if you will solve any of the question or if any in, in, in an interview someone will ask you this question, now you will be clearly able to answer this particular part, right? With this, I would like to end this particular video. I hope that you really enjoyed this video a lot and I'll come up with another video where now we will discuss about further concepts related to stats. Please do hit like this video and subscribe to my channel. It will really mean the world to me. Happy learning to all. Bye-bye everyone and I'll see you all in my next upcoming video.